call it an unwanted souvenir from a visit to a main beach. What you're seeing are the souls of Chris Demmer from York. Dark dye is something that Ann King experienced at Goose Rocks Beach in Kennebunkport. I wish I had a picture before. They were totally black. Intractable. Soap. Nothing. She tried some strong methods when oils and scrubbing with soap didn't work. I tried the Tide to Go. You tried Tide to Go on your feet? <laughs> yes. Well, I figure, you know, let me explain. I don't want to it, but nothing worked. And when online searches didn't have any answers, she called News 8. The issue is, what is it? In wells near the jetty. We heard that there were these creatures out on the beach and it was staining people's feet black. And so we were kind of curious to find out what could this all be. John Lillybridge and his wife, Linda Stathopoulos, both retired oceanographers with NOAA, came here on Monday and snapped photos of dark material brought in by a wave and left on the beach. Linda took samples that she brought home to get a closer look with a microscope. That's when, much to our surprise, we saw that it wasn't some kind of algae or, or a, an oil spill or something that you might expect, but it was just a whole lot of dead bugs in the water. John says his feet are now stained. It looks like the kind of stuff, sort of like henna dye. He thinks it'll wear off and that these bugs aren't harmful. It's just a discoloration. It's a natural substance in the body of these insects that probably comes from some plants. And that they won't be sticking around for long. The wind is definitely turning from the south more to the west today, and I suspect that between that and the natural tide cycle, it's just going to carry this stuff away. And if it helps to know it all, we came back to the jetty on the other side of Wells Beach here, and that was where uh, Linda and John saw a lot of those little tiny bugs, and we didn't see any today walking up and down the beach, and so it seems like they re really are being pushed on out of there. We had a chance to speak with Steve Dixon. Uh, he is the marine geologist here in the state, and he says that they've actually received and given over the sample that Linda took to try to identify what type of insect this one is in particular. Reporting for WMTW News 8, I'm Mary-Kate Nanyan.